Hey guys, it's the full-time drama queen um, <clears throat> reporting live from her parking space where I'm about to get on the train um, to go to work or whatever. It is so unpredictable, the weather here. Um, just not knowing if it's going to be freaking hot or if it's going to be cold. And that's really crazy. Um, so, a little bit of updates from the queen. So, I had pneumonia, um, and I'm doing much better, much, much better. Um, I was like, I had a fever of 101.5, I was coughing up phlegm and blood, um, it was just a crazy situation, I, uh, it was just the craziest situation I've ever been through, just feeling like... I might not make it through the struggle or whatever the frick I was going through at the time. <clears throat> but honestly, I would have never gotten through it if it wasn't for my best friend and my dad and the encouragement, encouraging words from my mom. And yeah, honestly, I don't think I would have gotten through it alone. Um, support is so important. And to be supported isn't is is a great feeling um i am trying to be consistent with these youtube videos but one thing i do ask is please 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 put a thumbs up if you like this kind of content please like this video and share it with your friends if you feel that this content resonates with you or someone else that may have gone through a similar thing like me leave a comment if you have any questions how i overcame this because i'm gonna make this a little bit short today and the last but not least, please subscribe because without you guys, I can't grow my channel. So yeah, um, I am headed to work today for the second day since I've been back. And at first, yesterday, I was a little overwhelmed because my period was here. And to be honest with you, that shit had me doing emotional backflips. And I'm just glad it's over with and I'm on my period now and I'm getting through the day but like yesterday I was just in a negative space today I feel a lot more energized even to make this video for you because yesterday I didn't have much energy um it's about 7 40 my time and my train doesn't get here for a little bit but I'm just going to update you guys on a few things that I've that I've been going through so yeah, I had pneumonia. I've been going through a little bit of a ups and downs with like this guy that I really, really like. And well, shit, not even really like, like basically in love with at this point. <laughs> um, but that's that's another story time for another day. We're just here to update you on the on the <laughs> on the pneumonia at this point. So I was taking this medicine called Levaquin. And Levaquin is a medication that reduces the infection in your lungs or in your body. Um, I was really nervous to take it because the only thing that I saw online about Levaquin was that, you know, you can get tendinitis, you gonna die. Like, all these negative side effects that I read you know, somebody said they were shaking uncontrollably and they had no control over their shaking and how poisonous this medication is. But I took it intravenously for a couple of days and then I went to the pill so that I could um, take it home with me and continue my treatment to make sure that the infection is gone. So, um, yeah, that, that was... Um, a lot because I noticed that my my body was in pain you know aside from me about to be on PMS like that pain that I was experiencing was a little different than the pain that I have ever felt in my life like as far as um, like tender joints um, and just feeling very very weak on that medication I felt very very weak so yes this is an update about um, pneumonia and you know I'm doing well now but this is also kind of like a mini review on Levaquin um it's a it's a medicine that I hope I never have to take again I hope I never get pneumonia again um 
the real situation is how I got pneumonia. I don't know if I described it in my last video, but I'm gonna just reiterate it that I was in a cold ass apartment because my apartment didn't have heat because our boiler was taken out by Ida that happened a while ago. And if you remember my video on Ida, you remember that the catastrophe, it was a catastrophe over here. Like in New Jersey, it was everything was like really, really messed up. So, um, I'm just glad that we have heat. I mean, the heat is fucking bumping right at this point. It's like, like I feel like I'm in a nightclub in my sleep. Like, oh my God, it's so hot. But I am grateful to have heat because I can put on a fan or something like that, but I can't go back to when I was sleeping. I was literally felt like I was sleeping outside and I was just putting on covers and covers and covers and covers trying to be warm, but it just didn't work. And then I woke up one day and I just had a crazy cough and I was sick as hell. But thank God I'm well because I would drink tea, ginger tea, ginger tea after ginger tea, but with pneumonia, you can't treat it just with those tactics alone. So I had to go to the hospital. And when I was admitted, you know, they did an X-ray of my chest. They did an EKG, which was abnormal. And they thought it had something to do with like a blood clot in my body or like something like that, but it really was pneumonia at the end of the day. And yeah, the ghetto, but um i noticed they gave me a breathing tube which i can show you in one of a future video um like a breathing tube to get my strength back i've been doing it every like every other day i need to go back and do it today when i get home from work but um i did breathe in the the, the breathing device or whatever you want to call it and i realized that at first when i first did it i had no strength at all in my lungs and now i feel like i'm getting back to a little bit of normalcy because I can walk up steps without being exacerbated. Um, I was singing when I was sick because I love to sing and make music, but um, I'm just happy that I'm well and I'm able to go back to work. <laughs> and I'm just grateful that it didn't turn out worse than it is um, because things can always be worse, guys. Um, that's the confirmation or the cons I don't know the word but that's the confirmation that you know things can always be worse and I'm very very fortunate to have made it out without you know having to stay in the hospital longer having great doctors um and just having great people around me great support great friends people checking in on me um making sure that I'm okay and that if I didn't need anything or um and I do live stream as well at a church in my home, near near home. And they would let a candle for me at church, which was so sweet. And it was just, it was just nice to be celebrated and also to get well um, and have people in my corner. Because, you know, support is, like I said, support is everything. So I'm just gonna make this video real short and sweet. I'm gonna upload it now because I need to be consistent with my ins with my posts. Oh. And if you can, like I said before, share this share this video, um, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. I love you guys so much. Um, and I have some really exciting things coming up on the channel that are a little bit different than what I've been recording. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, just keep being positive, keep your head up, and um, I love you guys. Talk to you soon.